Hey guys, so if you're old like me and you're a Zelda fan, you definitely would remember this back in the day. So this was the Legend of Zelda April Fool's Day movie trailer. At first they didn't tell you it was an April Fool's joke. Um, so they had this trailer and people were like shitting themselves because they were like, Oh my god, a Zelda movie. And then it turned out to be an April Fool's joke. Some people were convinced, some people weren't. Um, I was kind of like in between. The thing is like, after the Mario movie, it's like, I want, I do, and I still do, I want a Zelda movie. But I want it to be good. Um, so I was kind of like, it was like, I hope it's not real. Because if it's, you'll see what I mean by saying hoping it's not real. Uh, it's pretty obvious it was like a low production kind of thing for the most part. I mean, there's CGI and stuff, but it's pretty, pretty janky. Um. But I was like, okay, I hope it's not real. But if it is, <laughs> um, but anyway, this is the Zelda movie trailer, and this came out. What was it? Two thousand eight. God, I'm old. Yep, yeah, two thousand eight. Jesus, fuck, I'm not. Eleven years, still not cl even close to forgive. We do not forgive. We do not forget. All right, so here we go. something special lined up today. I'm taking the harvest to Castletown Market. And you're coming with me. Now mind your manners and do what I say. Speak to no one. And for goodness sake, don't touch anything. I've been waiting for you, Link. You've been kept safe, guarded by a secret race. This very day, the kingdom of Hyrule will fall. Nothing can stop the evil which has crept inside these walls. I am too late. This is the Temple of Time. When these doors open again, it will be seven years in the past. So you can see at the end, it says coming April 1st, and people don't think about, oh wait, April 1st, April Fool's Day, which April 1st is my birthday, by the way, for people who didn't know, which is most of you. Uh, yeah, April 1st, my birthday. So you, you can imagine it's great to have a birthday on April Fool's Day because no one wants to fuck with you because then they feel bad. Um, but yeah, this came out and people were losing their shit like, oh my god, it's a Zelda movie coming out, oh my god. But you can see what I meant with uh, the kind of the jankiness of it. I mean, it's okay, but definitely like today's standards, you know, like you can clearly tell it's not there. Um, 
I mean, it feels like more, Lord, more like Lord of the Rings than anything, really. Uh, I mean, for, you know, visuals. But, um, I mean, it's a good, it's a good outfit, though. I mean, compared to some outfits I've seen with people with, uh, like, with, um, fan-made stuff. I mean, it legit, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, of course, it's more like, um, Twilight Princess Link. It's, you know, his, well, you could really see the mail underneath and all that, so. But, uh, I mean, it's a good costume. Uh, Ganondorf looking pretty hairy. The Hero of Time. Got Goma. Leave her alone. And with the P-hats here, actually, never mind, I thought that was a Libra over there. And we got the P-hats. Um, yeah. So, like I said, when this came out, people were losing their shit, think, thinking it was real. There was also another thing that came out. Um, I think it was called Zelda Valley of the Flood. And it was supposed they said it was supposed to be the next Zelda game and it wouldn't have Link in it. Um uh, actually I'll probably pull that up later, like another time later. Um kind of look at that. Yeah, people really love their April Fool's jokes. Between that you had uh like back in the day with um like with Pokemon saying, Oh yeah, uh you can get Yoshi and uh you know your Dragonite will evolve into Yoshi if you do this and this and that and blah blah blah. Um <laughs> God, I love rumors. Like all the, like with Pokemon with the Poke Gods, and actually, I'll probably take a look at the Poke God stuff. That stuff's really fun. You know, like oh yeah, Charcoal and Venus Dois and Mew Three and uh, Peekaboo. Um, but yeah, Zelda was ripe with rumors and and and, and crap like that. Where I mean, we looked at some stuff. Um. A while ago, we looked at like Odyssey of Hyrule, and all that other great Zelda stuff, and um, yeah, but Zelda still a big thing. I'm still hoping for a a movie to come out. I mean, I don't know. Oh, here actually, here we go. The question for you today: If there was to be a Zelda movie, a legitimate Zelda movie, who would you want the cast to be? So, who do you think would be best to play Link? Who would play Ganondorf, Zelda, Impa? So, say it was just Ocarina of Time. Say they start with that. Who would be Zelda? Who would play Z uh, Link? Who would play Impa? Who would play Ganondorf? You know, Saria, Sages. I mean, you don't have to write the whole, like, every single fucking character, but just, just an idea of an all-star studied cast that would, you know, I mean... Actually, no, he's, he's a little too old, but, you know, considering Link is kind of based on Leo DiCaprio, uh, if that, if this was made back in the day, yeah, I can definitely see a younger Leo, uh, uh being Link, uh, but, uh, that's, he's not so young anymore, he's not so young and spry, um. Uh, Ganondorf would have to be a big guy because Ganondorf's a big guy. But then again, you can just look at what they did with Lord of the Rings. Everyone was pretty much the same height in real life. But then, you know, with movie magic and uh, stunt, not stunt people, but people who were actually smaller, uh, you know, make a size difference. But, you know, they would have to do Ganondorf right because obviously he, the dude commands respect wherever he goes. The dude is just hulking. And you know the king of the king of the Gerudo. I mean, the guy, one male born every hundred years, and he becomes their king. And, you know, he's already he's like the reincarnation of fucking demise. And you know the dude's evil. You know, and his voice you would expect some kind of like deep rumbling voice that you know when you hear it you stop in your tracks and you listen to what that guy says. Um, but yeah, who do you think would play each character? And, um, what would the title of the movie be? I don't want it to be, like, Zelda Ocarina of Time. That'd be stupid. Like I said, we're basing it just, just on Ocarina of Time right now. But, 
So the cast and name. And who do you think would direct it? That's another big thing. Quentin Tarantino. You just see fucking feet shots throughout the movie. It's like, oh, Zelda's walking barefoot. Gotta zoom in on that shit. Um, have fucking Link and Saria running around. He's like tickling her feet. Like, yep, this is a Quentin Tarantino movie. Uh, but yeah, so cast, name, and who would direct it? Uh, leave that stuff below. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. You guys know the drill. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.